Hello, N4 H and H here with the Yesu FT710 AESS. I am making this video because there's a little bit of confusion uh, regarding how you can make uh, voice messages that you can transmit, like to save your voice. You know, CQ, CQDX, uh, CQ Poda, CQ Soda, things like that, um, so that you don't constantly have to talk into the mic. So I want to cover that in this video. Page 44 of the manual covers it, and it is accurate how the manual is written, but admittedly, you know, sometimes people have a little hard time interpreting uh, how some of the manuals are written. So I'm just going to show you visually here what is shown on page 44. Okay, so I'm going to tap the function knob, which takes me into the function menu. Now, first of all, let me clarify, I'm not re referring to the record and play buttons here, okay? That is to record a conversation on the air, like if you just want to record the other person's voice. Not you, but their voice. And let's say, you know, you wanted them to hear what they sounded like. Now, what you'd have to do is pop the SD card out of the radio and email them the file. You can't play it back over the air. What you can do is play it back for you to hear, okay? So that just simply records whatever your receiver's listening to. That then plays it back. Uh, it says no file because I haven't recorded anything. But uh, that is not what I'm talking about. That is the record and playback of received audio. What we're going to do is record audio that can then be used to transmit. Okay, so you go into the message memory. I've already covered the CW aspect of this. It looks the same um, in a different video. For voice, it is different, of course. With the CW, if you watch that video, I was able to um, actually key in what I wanted to uh, put out, or I could have I could have used the paddles as well. All right. But with voice, what we're going to do is we're going to be pressing the MEM button, and then we're going to pick a number up here. And you have 10 seconds after you press MEM to pick a number, okay? And now, you're going to get a blinking REC up here in the indicator uh, area in the, in the display. And then um, you key the microphone. I've got the hand mic here, okay? You'll key that to push the talk, say your message, and as soon as you let go of the push the talk, the message is automatically stored, Okay. So I just wanted to talk you through what I'm about to do so now you can watch. I'm going to tap MEM. It's blinking up here, REC. Now I'm going to tap 1. It's still blinking, but watch it go solid. N4, HNH. And as soon as I let go, it turns off. Now let's see if that worked. I'll use my mouse here to click that. N4, HNH. Okay, so it's definitely uh, working. And by the way, you can... You've got two uh, level controls here, RX level. That's the volume that you're hearing. It's set at 50%. You can turn it up. Um, I'll put it on 65. So that's the playback volume. Let's hear it again. N4 HNH. Okay, so a little bit louder. The TX level, that adjusts how um, much audio is being sent to the transmitter. And for that, I would just watch the ALC meter or the watt meter and make sure you're getting you know, your full deflection. Um, what I can do, for example, I'm going to click the back button here and I'm going to switch the meter over to ALC. All right, and then I'll go back into the message memory and I'll play back message one. N4 HNH. Now you're thinking, wait a minute, how come I'm not seeing the ALC meter move? Well, by the way, what's this? You're also not going to see power N4 output HNH. okay so this is in four hnh this is what has been confusing some people uh let me show you what's wrong i'm gonna hit the back button go back into function bkn now bkn is necessary for you to transmit cw it's also necessary for you to transmit the voice recordings so by the way um even if i had gone in if the, if i was in cw mode and i've I, like i say i've shown this in a different video if I was in CW mode, I could tap the messages and just listen to them without transmitting them, unless I tap BKN. But even if you're going to send CW with the Morse paddles, you still have to tap the BKN. The idea is without BKN pressed, you're practicing. Or in the case of the voice memory, you're just listening back to make sure that it sounds good to you. All right, so... I'm going to engage the BKN in, even in sideband mode here because without it, the voice message memories will not transmit. So now watch the power output meter. N4 HNH. 100 watts. 
See, now I am, uh, I am transmitting now, and I'm transmitting into a dummy load, don't worry. Let's go to the ALC, and back into message. N4 HNH. Oh, that's right where you want it. Okay, so I really don't need to increase it any. It's, it's, it's flirting with the with that line going into the blue. But if I wanted to, I that's fifty percent. I could go to sixty, and let's see what happens. N four HNH. All right, it's, you know I will tell you this by the way. The um, there's seventy. N four HNH. Yeah, that's flirting right with the blue line, but it is being clamped a little bit by the AMC. So uh, I'm going to put it back to the default because, quite honestly, the default has worked just fine. I've, I've used this with the FTDX10, and the default's fine. And even the receive level, I'm just going to run it back down to 50, the default. That's, the defaults are 50. Okay, so uh, let me recap. The confusion is how you get it recorded in the first place. And the other confusion is, hey, it's not actually transmitting my message. I can hear it in the radio, but I can't transmit. So again, what you're going to do, I'll just repeat it again. I'll record or I'll, I'll put something in memory too. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to do M and then I've got 10 seconds to tap two. It's still blinking. Now I'm going to CQ, CQ. This is N4, H, N, H, CQ. Now the recording is done. Um, I have BKN turned on, so when I transmit now to, to play it back, it is going to actually transmit. Again, if I don't want to transmit, I turn off the BKN, and then I can just test playback. Okay, I'll do that once. Let's listen to it. I'll use the mouse. CQ, CQ, this is N4, HNH, CQ. Okay, so that worked. And again, if I like it and I'm ready to use it, I'll just hit the function key, turn the BKN on. Yes, BKN on for sideband, only if you're going to be playing back messages from the message memory. Now watch, I'm, play, I'm going to transmit into the dummy load. CQ, CQ, this is N4, HNH, CQ. Yep, and that ALC meter is going up there about equivalent to an S9. It's, you don't really read the S9 meter uh, for ALC, but it's, it gives you a point of reference there. And it's bumping just past it, and that's fine. Um, okay, now I'm going to switch it back over to power output, and I'll do it one more time with the second message. CQ, CQ, this is N4, H, N, H. CQ. Definitely hitting 100 watts. Okay, well, I, I hope you found the video helpful and informative, and I hope that's cleared up any confusion uh, for anyone who was trying to make that work. You know, it really can save your voice, especially if you're contesting. Or if you're in it, you know, let's say you're in here chasing rare DX and you're trying to break a pile up and, you know, it's going to take you several tries. I mean, sometimes it can take a lot of tries, especially if, if there's a huge pile up and you're competing with people that are running amplifiers and beams and you're, you're running 100 watts. Remember, though, you can still get through. It's a timing issue, okay? I'm not going to go into that here, but you can get it timed right or just try enough and, and you'll get through. You just have to keep trying. Well, that would save your voice, okay? All right, well, I, again, I hope you found the video helpful and informative. Thank you so much to the Patreon support team who, uh, you know, help offset the cost of running this channel. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to make the videos. So um, if you think about it, post a comment and thank a Patreon team member or thank the Patreon team members uh, for helping keep these videos coming to you. And if you'd like, uh, feel free to join that team and help out. Um, you know, there's three levels of participation. Uh, everyone gets to participate in polls and internal technical discussions. We get into some, you know, some, some deep stuff. And there's some smart um, people that are involved in that Patreon support team. And so sometimes they'll answer your questions uh, better than I can. Uh, but we have some nice technical discussions in there. And everyone, all the levels are, are privy to that. Now, the executive and VIP level... Uh, they have access to the documents that I've written for uh, menu optimizations. I cover knob, knobs, buttons for five different radios so far. FT891, 991A, FTDX10, FTDX5000MP, and this radio, the FT710. 
There are, and then there's also a couple of documents in there, uh, one for the FT710 and one for the FTDX10, how to get up and running on FT8. covers the computer side and the radio side. Those are available to the executives and VIPs. And, of course, then the VIPs have another perk, and that is they get shout-outs every few months. I put out a video, and I want to recognize the VIPs. I also recognize executives that have supported the channel for over a year. And uh, but they also, also, the VIPs uh, have access to me via phone, uh, conference call, uh, you know, Zoom, things like that for private consultation. So, uh, hey, if you want to join that team and help out um, and, and, you know, ensure that I can continue to bring this type of content, go to www.patreon.com forward slash N4HNH, patreon.com forward slash N4HNH. You can jump in and jump out anytime. But, uh, you know, every little bit helps. And if you would, give the video a like, smash that thumbs up. Cost you nothing. Takes, what, five seconds? Helps the channel with the YouTube algorithm. And also, if you would, uh, consider subscribing to the channel. If you do subscribe to the channel, be sure and click the uh, notification bell so you'll be notified each time I upload a video, usually a couple of weeks. And finally, if you would, uh, share a link to this video on social media, text message, email, or phone a friend. Hey, thanks for watching and 73 from N4 H&H. Hey, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll exit with this. CQ, CQ, this is N4 H&H, CQ. Bye-bye.